Thank you for tuning in to Listener Power 90.3 KEXP, where the music matters. We're here with Bjorn Baccarat. You're doing a great set so far. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure is all ours. Can you tell us a little bit about what inspired that last song? Uh, yeah, uh, this song is actually mostly about uh, my relationship with my father and the ups and downs therein. Mm, mm. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> now, is that song specifically referring to your father's disapproval of you becoming a musician? Oh yeah. Well, is it that obvious? <laughs> <laughs> we here at 90.3 KXP believe the music matters. We like to do our research. All right. <laughs> you and Reinhardt were arguing about this. Uh, what was it he wanted you to be doing instead? You know my dad's name? Oh, of course we do, we aren't. We like to know who's raising our musicians. <laughs> follow in his footsteps and become a firefighter. Oh, right, right. A fireworks accident you had when you were five and burned your hand. Gave you a phobia of fires, if I'm not mistaken. How did you know about that? If you weren't working. 90.3 The music matters. I'm going to play another song now. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful, Bjorn. Uh, what do you got for us? Oh, this one's actually oh, previously unreleased. Oh, we were thinking about it debuting it here. Oh, oh wonderful today. electric landslide. I love this jam. Great <laughs> chord progression. How the fuck did you know that? <laughs> we're debuting this here today. I told no one about it. Bjorn. Bjorn, what? We're not even KXP, I know! <laughs> Everything, we're 90.3 KEXP. Everything that it ever was or is or ever will be concerning music, Bjorn, we know about it. <laughs> How? <laughs> it's a long and complex story you probably couldn't possibly comprehend. <laughs> we dug up Jimi Hendrix when grave and we ate his brain. <laughs> everyone. Thanks for joining us, Bjorn. Up next we have Band of Horses. Uh, they'll play most of the way through their set until the guitarist breaks one of his strings, gashes his hand during the song The Funeral, and then, ironically, two months later, dies at his own funeral. Uh, <laughs> at his own funeral. Uh, <laughs> because he doesn't treat his wound. We're 90.3 kids. <laughs> <laughs>